YouTube. So I have finally come back with an updated makeup tutorial. I'm gonna talk you through my makeup. And this is basically the makeup that I wear every single day of my life. I've been wearing this makeup every day for like years, like <laughs> as long as I can remember. So this is my very much used, very much trusted daily makeup routine. So I thought I would share it with you guys. I've received so many requests for this over the years. So I'm finally back with an updated one. This is my first kind of like live talk through video. So sorry if I'm a little bit rusty at it. I'm gonna get better hopefully. And I do hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, I'll shut up. On to the tutorial. So starting off my makeup, I'm gonna prime my face with the Refai Beauty Face Primer. It's called Glow and Sculpt. And I feel like my makeup just holds a little bit better when I use a primer, but honestly, a lot of the times I forget. And I just love Refai products. I think they are so good. Like there's not a single Refai product that I used and didn't like. The applicator is pretty cool on this too because you basically squeeze it and it'll like come out on this little roller and you just roll it directly on your face. I'm gonna go in with my Misha, I don't know if that's how you say it, my Misha cushion. It's like a foundation cushion, I think. And this stuff is SPF 50, so I already have SPF on, but you know, an extra little bit of protection wouldn't hurt. And I find that cushion foundation is just apply so perfectly and they're so easy to blend out like literally look at this oh by the way this is not a hickey okay this is a bug bite you see that and it's actually incredibly itchy and like dying to scratch it but anyways i just blend that out oh my god like look at the difference that it's making come on like it's just so good <laughs> make sure that you blend well around your neck and jawline area so that there's no harsh lines or anything. So, and then I'm gonna try and cover up my butt bite. Ugh, but I might just scratch it off, honestly. Okay, let me do it anyway. Did that even work? I don't know. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I feel like everybody on TikTok uses this and it's honestly so good. The coverage is so good and just blends out really nicely. So yeah, these are the areas that I'm going to conceal. I just like for a whole day. I will put some concealer kind of like kind of on my inner eyebrow area because I do have my eyebrows tattooed and I just like to add some concealer on the inside so that later on when I fill them in, I can kind of create that like gradient brow look. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna set my makeup with my Huda Beauty Banana Bread Baking Powder. I love this powder so much. It honestly just makes your face look so flawless. as you kind of would if you were to bake with too much powder or at least I feel like I always look like you when I do that but yeah okay okay so now we're gonna bronze and I'm just using my um bronzers from NYX I don't know about you guys but I always break my bronzers like I don't usually break my makeup but when I do it's gonna be my bronzer so you can see it's already kind of like cracked off I don't know why like they're always breaking but anyways, um, my NYX California Beam and Bronzer. 
And I'm gonna just put this on my cheekbones or under my cheekbones. I kind of like to just slap it on first with this brush and then blend it out later with a big powder brush. I'm taking this flat top powder brush from e.l.f. So I have like concealer on it. I'm just going to kind of blend that out so it doesn't look too harsh. And then I'm going to go in with the blush. So the blush I have been loving lately is the Dior, what is this? The Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. At first when I bought this, I was like, why is it literally Barbie pink? But then when you blend it into your face, it just gives you like the softest rosy color. Can you even see that? I don't know. And then I'll put it on my nose, my cheeks, and then just a little bit on my forehead and chin. And then now I'm gonna go into my eyebrows. So I've been using this product for the longest time ever. It's the Anastasia, Anastasia Brow Pomade. I feel like everyone in the world has moved on from this product, but I'm still using it because like it just works so well for me and I'm so accustomed to the way that it like applies and stuff like that. When I try to use a brow pencil, I cannot get it to look as like gradient brow natural, you know what I'm saying? So when I fill in my brow, I like to make it a little bit thicker just down here like this. And then for the rest of my eyebrow, I kind of just follow um, how it's tattooed basically. And I will elongate it just a little bit because I like my long eyebrow. I feel like it really frames your face. Okay, so this is how I like to fill in my brow. It looks kind of strong right now, I know, but when I do the other one, it's going to pull it together. And then when I put on my eye makeup, it'll all look right, trust me. So this is how it looks with both eyebrows done. I'm using my, like, um, I think this is a concealer brush from e.l.f but it's like this big fat fluffy one and I just go back with the same bronzer. I always like to use the bronzer that I use on my face as my eyeshadow. I feel like it just makes everything match, if that makes any sense. Like the shadows here will match the shadows here and I like that. I say that now, but my nose contour is like a totally different shade. But anyways, you get the vibe. So again, I just like slap it on and then Blend it out afterwards. And then what I do, because I'm lazy, I'll just like pinch the brush to make it thinner. And then go on my under eyes like that. And go in with my nose contour. The order of my makeup is so random, but I basically kind of just like, whatever, when I reach in and I see it, I'm gonna be like, okay, this is the next step. But now I'm gonna do my nose contour. This is from Sephora, obviously I broke it, but it's called, I think it's a second chance. It's like so scratched up so I can barely read it, but it's this very, very cool tone. It's almost like a gray color, but I always find that nose contour ends up looking warmer than on the cheek, so that's why I use a cool tone shade. It just works better in my opinion. Go down the sides like this, and I'll extend it to my eye socket. I don't know. <laughs> I'll extend it to my eye socket every time and just like blend that in. 
underneath and then just right here to make a fake tip, you know what I mean? I know I look ridiculous, but we're gonna blend this out, so don't worry. Same little blending brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to blend. for like literally ages. I think I saw Michelle Fong using it, so I picked it up and it does work quite well for Asian eyes. And life hack, you can go on like Amazon, I think, or AliExpress and then buy a whole pack of these uh, sh curler cushions. And then it will come with like 10 and then you would pay like $2 for it. And you can basically just refill your lash curler with it every time so that you don't have to continuously buy new lash curlers. I don't know if the cushion would be like as good as the one that it comes with, but personally, I don't really feel like it makes too much of a difference and it saves you a lot of money because constantly buying a new lash curler is not cheap. I used to do that. But yes, I'm just curling my lashes. I basically have non-existent lashes, so this part is kind of underwhelming. And I will even curl my, um, can you see? I'll even curl my lower lashes. Cause I find that doing this will open up your eyes. This is kind of tricky, so be careful when you're doing it the first few times. And then going in with my mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Okay, maybe I should hold it longer. Lash Sensational Mascara. Sorry, all my makeup is so dirty. I always like get concealer on everything. I don't know why. And then just do a quick coat on the top. And then the bottom. Like this, so I can like reach and get into it. So it's kind of like a weird face. It's kind of reminds me of like the Kim Kardashian crying face. Hey, oh my God. Yeah, so I don't know if you can tell like what I mean, but I really feel like putting mascara on the lower lashes really makes a difference. Anyways, I'm going to go in with my eyeliner now. I'm using the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Eyeliner. I saw this on TikTok. I mean, I feel like half my makeup is stuff I saw on TikTok. But yeah, I've been using this for probably a year now and it really is good. Okay, so what I do actually, I'll line my waterline. It's kind of odd. And if you try to do this, definitely be very careful, but I've been doing it forever. I still kind of get liner in my eyes sometimes, but I'm kind of used to it. Is that bad? And then I'm just gonna do like a wing. I basically do a wing every day. my eyeliner but when I put on lashes you can't really tell so we're just gonna act like that didn't happen um yeah so now I'm gonna apply my lashes probably I should use a brand new pair for this video but I just love this one so much and I don't have another pair right now with me I'm in Taiwan by the way did I mention that I'm using these lashes I think they are from Lily lashes. I forgot the name, but I'll try to find it and like put it on the screen or in the description box. My Kiss Lash Glue. So, okay, what I do is I will apply the glue like directly on my eyelid or my lash line basically instead of on the strip lash itself. And then I'll go on the top on the outer corner. And then on the inside half, I will actually put it on my waterline. I'm 
like that. Okay, so what that does is I find that when the whole lash is on the top, it's hard to hide the lash band. I feel like the lash band is always a little bit obvious, but then when the whole lash is on the bottom, it kind of like makes the lash give you like a more droopy eye effect and I like more of like a cat eye. I want my eyes to go up and not down. But like I said, I'm somebody who has like barely any natural lashes. So I can kind of, I do have like enough room to maneuver the lash from like top to bottom. But I feel like if you have a thick set of lashes then, or natural lashes, oh my God, I can't talk, hold on. Okay, I feel like if you have a lot or really thick natural lashes, then it might be a little bit harder for you to um, put, you know, half the lash on top and then half of the fake lash on the bottom. I like to just push it up on the outside and then like even on the inside, I'll push it up a little bit just so that it opens and lifts my eye. And this is what it looks like. So you can see it kind of still gives you like the upward eye shape, but the lash band, I find that the lash band is usually more obvious on the inner corners and stuff, but you can see that it's like not that easy to see. Actually, I don't know if you can see it at all, but trust me, it's less obvious, okay? Just trust me. Anyways, oh, lips, I'm done. I'm using my e.l.f., or sorry, not e.l.f., my NYX lip liner. This one is in the shade. Sandstorm. I really, really like this shade as well as Soft Spoken. I basically use these two, one of these two every single day. And then when I touch up throughout the day, I'll use one of them as well. I bought like 10 of these Soft Spoken ones. So I have them in like my bags, my makeup bag. I just think that this is a really flattering lip liner color. And I do think that it looks good on everyone basically, so. or lipstick on top. I'm using my lipstick from Napoleon Purtis. It's like an Australian brand. And the shade I'm using is 102. Excuse my nails, they're so dirty. <laughs> but it's kind of just this like blush neutral color. I think it's really flattering with the lip liner that I use. So I'm gonna do some final touch-ups, like blending, or if I feel like I need a little bit more powder, now's the time I would do it. So that is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys like it. Real quick, if you guys have any specific videos you wanna see, makeup looks or hair tutorials, anything like that, basically any kind of video you wanna see from my channel, just leave a comment down below. I'm gonna be reading them. So I would really appreciate any video suggestions that you might have. And yeah, hopefully I will see you in my next video. And thank you so much for watching.